Welcome back to the Z Code System channel today. Drew here to speak with you. I'm going to have a little update on things going on with the NHL if you haven't been following along, because right now we're in the off season of the NHL as they prepare for the 2020 2021 season, because we had the uh, delayed 2019 20 season happen and finish up back in September, early October area. And um, as we all know, that the pandemic that has been sweeping the world has put sports, uh, I guess you could say, on the back burner and postponed things uh, in various ways. And so just giving you a quick update from our new blog, which you can find over at zcodesystem.com backslash blog about the upcoming NHL season and what you can expect. And more importantly, when you can expect it to drop the puck. Of course, guys. Welcome back to the Zcode System channel, as I said before, and you can go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog to read up on everything we have going on there, including our new Yield Nodes Master Noting program uh, that we profiled recently in an interview. You can go over there and check that out, listen to it, and uh, get more information on Yield Nodes, as well as, of course, you can scroll through the blog and you can get the latest picks and previews for the various sports going on. As you can see there, an NFL picks um, have been put up, Steelers and Ravens going at it this week. Uh, actually, as I talked to you today, November the 1st, that game will be taking place in the U.S. Um, and last week, we talked about the Champions League and what you need to know about the biggest club football tournament in the world. And later this week, we'll be profiling some games and giving you some picks for some big matches that are coming up this week. So as I was saying earlier, uh, we're talking a little bit about the NHL and uh, just to give you a little bit of news and just clicking here on the NHL.com website. And if you've been following the NHL as I have, you'll know that there has been a lot of different moves going on. Uh, free agency, lots of players moving places, some players going back to the teams that they were with. And we've also seen the NHL draft uh, occur and players being snapped up there. Now, one of the things that you might uh, be noticing if you are a big NHL fan is your team that you follow may be loaning players out to European teams. Um, I've noticed that my Edmonton Oilers have been loaning team or loaning players out, that is, to teams over here in Europe. Uh, this offseason, some of their uh, prospects and some of their um, bottom six players, fringe players, if you will, and uh, they've been signing uh, with teams here and other teams have been doing the same uh, because of the uh, uncertainty of when the NHL season will start and what it will look like even when it does start. So what we're seeing is the leagues here in Europe are uh, carrying on. We're seeing uh, leagues go about uh, elite sports carrying on, although uh, it must be noted to sports bettors and sports fans that there are some lockdown restrictions now coming into place here in Europe, France, Germany, and here in the UK. We are seeing a new lockdown uh, that is coming into place. And here in the UK specifically, we're going to be having a lockdown for the entire month of November we're going to have things shut down um, with only a few items or a few things open, uh, such as schools and important shops, um, while the good news is elite sports will carry on. Now, unfortunately, the elite hockey league here in uh, the UK decided not to have a 2020-21 season. So if you are familiar with um, hockey here in the UK, you're not able to follow that this season. But the good news is you've, we've got Sweden, we've got Switzerland, we've got uh, we've got Russia with the KHL that are still going on, and hopefully soon we'll have the NHL going on. Now, plans were that the NHL would open training camps and hopefully start the season around Christmas time, and, and uh, the training camps would open in early December. Now, that looks to be pushed back, and there are a couple of reasons for this, and we're going to just quickly cover those two things today on our video. Uh, one of those reasons uh, that the NHL is still trying to sort out the, se the, the season uh, and the, I, to me, the most important is the U.S. Canadian border and the pandemic restrictions and the crossing of that border. Now, as we all know, there are seven teams in the NHL who reside in Canada and the other 24 teams in the United States. Now, this is going to make it difficult and impossible for these teams to go back and forth to play an 82 game season 
um, throughout the year. Now, what the idea is, rather than have a bubble system like they did for the NHL playoffs, which worked perfectly, and you know, compared to Major League Baseball and the problems that they had, as well as Major League Soccer, what the problems that they had, were we saw far fewer issues uh, with players and uh, personnel contracting coronavirus. Uh, we've also seen some issues with the NH, uh, sorry, with the NFL uh, occur this season and college sports as well. So the NHL is trying to iron this out because they don't want to do the bubble system again. Uh, the idea, though, now is to go going forward. And at the moment, this is just a pitched idea, but I'm expecting this to be actually what happens is we're going to see the NHL season divided or no, sorry, not the NHL season, the teams divided um, into regional divisions. And this is going to be, again, a special season where we're going to see things altered. And we're going to see the seven Canadian teams paired together or put together into a division, a singular Canadian all-Canada division, which in a way is quite exciting, but we're going to see that worked out to where all those teams will play each other. Then we will see the remaining 24 teams, and I'm assuming uh, we'll see three divisions with eight teams each divided regionally. Now, the idea of basing things regionally will be in a way like Major League Baseball, how only the regional teams such as the NL East played against teams in the NL East and played against teams in the AL East. So keeping things um, regionalized to prevent tra or to uh, reduce travel and prevent or reduce the possibility of contracting coronavirus. So this is just one of the ideas, and this is probably the leading idea that will, um, in my opinion, this will be what the season will look like. Now, will we see um, four divisions of seven and eight teams uh, being divided up? They, they could alter that to being different. Uh, we might see something um, along the lines of uh, six divisions and, and four teams each or, or something um, around that. Obviously, we have an odd number of NHL teams until the Seattle Kraken come into the league. So we have 31 teams. So we're going to have a, a division with uh, one more team than uh, the others. So um, again, this is just the leading idea of what's going to happen. Now, one of the other reasons why things haven't been ironed out, uh, such as uh, the way things have been in the NBA or, say, uh, the NFL, as it continues its season right now, is the collective bargaining agreements. Apparently, uh, players were had accepted to take 72% of their full salaries um, during the pandemic, during the shortened seasons. So right now, that is being one of the... Um, stumbling blocks that the NHL has, and they're trying to iron this out. Now, for me, I hope we don't see another uh, lockout or another uh, strike shortened season, if you will, because I can tell you that as a person who enjoys hockey, who, who watches a lot of hockey um, nowadays, um, in the past, uh, there were times when we had those lockouts in the 2000s uh, where I lost a lot of interest in following hockey because it's not my number one sport, not my number two sport probably, but it's, it's getting up there at three, four. So I know I lose interest and I know a lot of other people will, but hopefully that won't happen. And hopefully we will see the season drop the puck in January, which is right now the plan. But again, there's still some things that they've got to iron out. Now, the good news for anyone else who follows ice hockey, especially minor league ice hockey, the American Hockey League has announced that they are going to drop the puck on February the 5th, 2021. Now, this is a postponement of what they had previously uh, wanted to do. They wanted to drop the puck in early December. Um, they've now changed that and they've decided to go back a bit. And <clears throat> with the AEHL, um, they'll be playing more regionally uh, in that league and um, giving us minor league hockey to follow. Now, again, this is going to lead to some stumbling blocks for player development and preparing players for the season uh, or even preparing, preparing players to move up to the NHL clubs uh, while we also, and that's why we're seeing a lot of players uh, be sent off to Europe to play. Now, um, another of the uh, minor league hockey teams, the ICHL, or sorry, the ECHL, uh, they have said they will drop the puck in December to give us some more ice hockey. So, um, they're going to be able to go uh, and play, um, basically giving us um, the only ice hockey in the U.S. Um, at that time. So very exciting to have some ice hockey back and um, coming up on 
the horizon. So guys, you can go over and read the blog, get some more updates and information about that. And when the NHL does drop the puck, we'll be giving you picks and previews of matches and uh, as well as the season. And you can do all get all your great information and picks over at the Z Code System website and go over to the VIP and read up on all the information on the blog to make educated bets on your ice hockey. And you can also go over there and get some information on the KHL, which is going on right now. So guys, thanks for watching our Z Code System video today here on the Z Code System channel. If you like what you saw, please give it a thumbs up, smash that, and also subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on Z Code System every time we post a video here. And you can go over to the blog and check out everything we got there. Guys, enjoy your sports Sunday. If you're betting on the NFL or Premier League soccer, or if you're betting on whatever you want, um, NBA coming back soon. Enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. Stay safe from Z Code System.